motherfucker, I'm outside your window and you haven't fed me today. Hello and welcome to the Unusual Suspects podcast. This is episode 47. My name is Andy. I'm still standing in for Dan and we are very efficient today. Woo. With me, as always, is Penelope. Hi! And with us we have another special guest. It is the Woo. face and the voice of Public City PR. It's Emma Van Dytes. <laughs> Thanks, hi. How are you doing? I'm all right, I'm all right. Nice pronunciation of the surname. Well done. Thank you, thank you. I tried. I practiced once. <laughs> well, you practiced once. It's good. Yeah. I get so many variants, like you wouldn't believe it. Some people still, they just call me M. Van Dyke. And I'm like, my surname isn't Van Dyke. <laughs> and like at school, kids were like, oh, uh, is your dad going to pick you up and chitty chitty bang bang? And I'm like, it's not even my surname, so it's not even funny. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Pretty good though. I mean, that's, that's a good reference. Yeah. It starts us yeah. off nicely. I've got some questions for you to introduce you to our six listeners. <laughs> Seven? Because Dan must listen now. Well, he has to, because he's got to make sure we're not <laughs> fucking up. That's true. Who are you? <laughs> so, quick fire questions. What is your favourite film? My favourite film, Back to the Future. Mm, good shout. Favourite actor? Ooh, uh, Ooh. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> favorite band i'll let you have some leeway with this one obviously i know you can't show favorites my favorite band um kind of hard actually i have three favorites am i allowed to have three favorites i'll let you have three favorites as a special occasion public enemy deftones and the cure nice Nice. a lot of variety there favorite color black (laughs) all of our guests are gonna say that (laughs) they are yeah favorite word Ooh, favorite word shit it's close Uh, to my favorite word i don't know Pen, what's your favourite word? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. I also really enjoy the word plethora. <laughs> it's a close second. What's my favourite word? Probably dude. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I don't know whether it's my favourite, but I certainly say it a lot. Favourite sandwich? Ooh, favourite sandwich. Grilled cheese. Nice. With a bowl of tomato soup. With a bowl of nice. tomato soup? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Have you never done American that? American style. Uh, yes. But not deliberately. Oh, it's yummy. I had a grilled cheese sandwich and a bowl of tomato soup in San Diego about five years ago. And I still think about it on the regular. (laughs) Delicious. Like, I miss that sandwich. (laughs) Let's move this off the food before Dan gets upset. (laughs) Snatch or Lockstock? Ooh. I'm going to go Lockstock. Yes. Oh, shit. We're two for tea now, Pen. Yep. And finally, favourite host? (laughs) (laughs) Mother Earth? Nice. (laughs) Well avoided. Well avoided. Penny. It's fine because... Always Penny. She's my bestie. She's my ride or die. So that's fair. It's fine. I was expecting it. I'm not expecting to be anyone's favourite, in fairness. I'm happy with that. You're my favourite. Yeah, but that's not... I'm quite funny though. An achievement. It's close. I'm quite funny sometimes. Good. Well, (laughs) as the funny one, do you want to kick us off this week? What have you been up to? I went back to my usual silly films. I don't know what this says about my life since the podcast has started but i had five different people send me this film i don't know if they all listen to the podcast or they just have listened enough to know that this is my life now you just watch shit films yeah (laughs) so i watched and i don't know the year of this film because imdb said 2019 wikipedia said 2020 and shudder said 2021 so pick one but i watched some years slacks S-L-A-X-X. A possessed pair of jeans comes to life and terrorises the staff of a trendy, vapid clothing boutique. <laughs> right. Sounds great. Yep. So that's my life. People immediately see those films and think of me. And I don't know how to take it. <laughs> it's the kind of shit that Penny would watch. Here you go. It wasn't the worst film I've ever seen. We'll get into it. Starts off with a shot of a cotton field somewhere in Asia and there is a girl there's a young girl picking cotton and you get a shot of this sign that says experimental cotton field and it's for the Canadian cotton clothers which we find out is the name of the bougie store that we're about to spend most of the movie in (laughs) we then get a little shot of the jeans warehouse and it's very ominous and obviously we know what's going to happen because there's going to be some creepy jeans in this 
<laughs> I tried to find the budget for this movie, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I assume it was kind of low because the filming location, it all takes place in this one store. But the CGI for the jeans was pretty good. Is it definitely CGI? I mean, some of them, I think, are puppet jeans. But I think some of them must be CGI jeans. But they looked good. It's not like, oh, I don't want to say carousel because that has a special place in my heart. But <laughs> yeah, the uh, <laughs> the jeans look pretty good. So we start off with Craig, the douchebag manager, and Libby is the new staff. She has wanted to work for the Canadian Cotton Clothers, the CCC, for a long time. They're supposed to be this very ethical clothing company. They've got all pictures of, you know, ethnic people where they make their clothes, but it's no sweatshops, you know, none of this. They're supposed to be very good for the environment and very fancy. And she's like, oh, I've wanted to work here since I was 16. <laughs> I mean, you do you, but you can probably do better than the clothing store. But That's fine. pretty low expectations, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So she meets Craig and they are having a very special launch for their jeans, which are called the Super Shapers. <laughs> I have worked in a clothing store. I did work in Primark when I was at college. Uh, no offense to anyone that works there, but do not recommend. But you probably know that already. It's one of the worst places I've ever worked. And I don't know if this is a thing. They are launching these Super Shapers at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. But it is now Sunday night and they are locking down the store. And when I say locking it down, like locking the doors, shuttering the shutters, nobody is allowed in. Apparently there's no signal when they do this either. Okay. And the kind of clothing store it is, is they have different employees on different departments, but they're not called departments, they're called ecosystems. Oh, For God. Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is very like Urban Outfitters bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh, but this will cut into the time reconstructing my ecosystem, Craig. I don't have time for this. It's all very. Is it like pitch black in there? Because whenever I walk past like Urban Outfitters no. or, or Super Dry, I just assume it's a fucking cafe because it's <laughs> fucking dingy. You can't see anything. There's bamboo everywhere. It's all bullshit. No, it's lovely and well lit pretty minimalist and it's just got a lot of clothes that are all of one color i think they're having a sale like 60 percent off everything that is teal that day or something <laughs> bullshit it's very it knows what it's trying to be you know but yeah i didn't know you would you could lock like when they say they lock it down like it's a full lockdown so the plan is they're going to lock down the store sort it all out like i don't know how long that takes and then an influencer is going to turn up at midnight and do her thing and film stuff and then she's got an hour and then at 1am she leaves and then they lock down the store again so there's a very small window of when the door will open and apparently the store is fancy enough that it's on like an actual time lock <laughs> and it'll be like lockdown activated lockdown deactivated mm. apparently people really want these jeans so Libby already gets in trouble because she's not wearing she's got CCC clothes on but they're not in season and they were like, when did you buy them? She's like, last month. They're like, oh, they're already three seasons out. Go and get changed. So we have to have a montage. Three seasons in a month? Wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So she does a montage to get some new clothes. And then she has to pay $175.92 for a fucking long sleeve shirt. And she's staffed too. Yeah. She said, well, do I get a staff discount? And he said, technically, you don't start till one minute past midnight. So you don't count. You can have your discount tomorrow. He's a dick. What a prick. Fuck this guy. Mm. Fuck this guy. That's some big dick energy though to be like that. <laughs> yeah. They're all awful. Some of the names, no offense to anyone called Craig, but he's he's American and his name's Craig. Craig. And he's definitely- Craig. I hate that. He's a Craig. I hate that. He's yeah. like a Karen. He's a Craig. <laughs> so the big boss is also coming for the jeans thing. So he's coming before the lockdown. So he comes and does a big speech and whatever. And there are two female employees, Gemma and Hunter. And Hunter manages to steal a pair of the super shapers from the stockroom. And they're both in the bathroom. And Gemma's like, you shouldn't have those. I'm going to tell someone. She's like, well, if you tell anyone, I'm going to tell Craig that you're banging someone while you're at work. It's all like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What sort of threat is that? Yeah, I think she's banging someone else that works there. How does he know? Surely Craig is just going to go... Well, there's only two of you here, so it's got to be you, mate. Oh, no, there's more people. It's, it's very busy for this launch, even though I don't know what they're going to do for, I'm assuming, 12 hours. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know how long. Maybe, well, I don't know, shops up Wouldn't it open six? at like 8 a.m. for a launch? Yeah, So, like but that. they're in there in the evening because the girl doesn't get there till midnight. So they're there before midnight. Okay. I don't, it's too long. Anyway. <laughs> so then they're in the bathroom looking in the mirror and Hunter puts the jeans on. She doesn't take her shoes off, which really bugs me because she would know. <laughs> Wait, Hunter's a girl? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Now it all makes sense. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I sorry. forgive it all. <laughs> sorry. It's fine. I'm also rubbish. Gemma is the one stealing the jeans. Sorry. Oh, Hunter okay. is also a lady. 
So Gemma has put the jeans on <laughs> without taking the shoes over off. her high heels. Yeah, which well, that's really just going to cause holes. Really annoyed me. How the fuck does she do that? I can't even put jeans on when I've got socks on. Honestly, <laughs> it was way. <laughs> I'm not you know touching how- that. I'm not touching <laughs> that. Let's move on. <laughs> you know how we have that conversation of you don't want to see people going to the toilet in movies. It's all yeah. irrelevant. Yeah. But she literally, she stood in front of the mirror and she just she just manages to pull her jeans off and pull these other ones up in almost like one fluid motion. And I'm like, nobody has ever done that in the history of putting on jeans. Skills. Ever. Yeah. So they go back out and they're having like the team meeting like, right, we're going to get ready for this. And Gemma suddenly gets like a really sharp pain in her Vagina. abdomen, <laughs> uh, close, in her uterus area. Okay. And Hunter's like, you're right. She went, oh, Aunt Flo's coming a week early. I got to go. So she goes to the bathroom and on the way she'll get more stabbing pains. And you're like, oh, it's the jeans. <laughs> I'm already excited. She goes into the bathroom and she can't get the jeans off. So she goes into a stall. She sits on the toilet. And she can't get the jeans off. So she is starting to panic. That's just like an everyday problem for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're too tight. <laughs> you look like you had a question for a minute, I do. Uh, no, and wants I was... to know what Aunt Flo is. No, no, no. I'm with that. <laughs> it's sitting down to take jeans off. What's that about? Yeah. Is that a thing? Is that what the ladies do? No. You would undo them, pull them down and sit down. Yeah. Unless I'm weird, but I assume. She can't get them off. So then there's they're showing an ad for the Super Shapers. And there's a whole thing about, again, how they're fair trade and ethically sourced. And there's some sort of, I think they said thermal technology. So they're like, if you're five pounds underweight or five pounds overweight, these will fit you perfectly. Like they'll fit to your body, like one fit for all. They sound pretty amazing for jeans, to be fair. And then we go back to Gemma is panicking now. You can see them getting tighter. I mean, she's fucking tiny. She's anyway, but you can see them getting tighter. And she's panicking. (laughs) And then eventually blood starts coming out of her. You don't really see anything. It looks like the blood is just coming out of like the top of the jeans. Right. And then like her, she must be sat on the toilet and her legs are up because her feet are on the back of the door. Like her shoes are on the back of the door. She's got long legs then. Yeah. And then there's just all this blood and she is dead. So the jeans just get so tight. They just constrict her like a snake. Yep. It goes back to the shop and then my next note just says, ha 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 ha, the jeans are crawling across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. I'm getting weird placenta flashbacks. <laughs> oh, it's got a bigger budget than the placenta movie though. But like I said, the jeans work, puppetry or otherwise, was pretty good. <laughs> so they're crawling along the floor and on the back pocket of the jeans, there's an SS logo for Super Shapers. A little bit like, what's that, you know, the metal S that everybody does. The one that you used to do in school? Yeah. yeah, everyone just used to draw eight. on there. Yeah. Yeah. The six lines and the joint. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little bit like that. And there are four sections to it. So like a section for the top of the S and the bottom. So there's four sections and one of them is now red as if it's like filled up with blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So then nobody can find Gemma and Hunter finds the jeans hanging on the back of the door because nobody's supposed to have these jeans till eight o'clock in the morning so she finds them hanging on the back of the door and she puts them on she does take off her shoes smart girl yeah well (laughs) she puts them on and like so she puts them on one leg and they make her leg freak out and it like twitches okay and they kind of look like they're tightening around her leg this doesn't freak her out so she carries on putting on the jeans and (laughs) <laughs> what she's trying to put them on they make her do like this weird possessed dance like they're trying to go somewhere <laughs> like idle hands but with jeans and then she's pulled them up she's only pulled them up like halfway and they kind of make her do this dance and they spin her around until she impales herself on a coat hook Ooh. like face first face first but you don't see it you don't see it yeah the gore does get better because I was a bit disappointed at this point because a lot of it is kind of off screen I like to think she was doing the Macarena <laughs> <laughs> It was almost too silly. Like, mm, you're kind of taking me out of it a little bit. Now I've got the Macarena in my head. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I am. <laughs> oh, you don't know how close you are to a bit of the film later on. Anyway. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's some CCTV footage of the jeans crawling around. We get quite a lot of that throughout the film. And then the jeans hide in a box. <laughs> so they find a cardboard box and you've got the jeans crawling into a cardboard box and pulling the flap down behind them. Nobody can find Hunter or Gemma. So Craig sends Libby to look for them. And she finds Gemma's body in the bathroom. 
and it's been cut in half and hidden in the cupboards under the sink. So you've got kind of Gemma's head and torso like laying down and then her legs are pointing the other way over the top. So the jeans have put her in the cupboard under the sink. Impressive. How? How have they done that? Because why not? They've got no hands. I mean, technically, they have like arms. The legs are kind of arms. But I don't think a bit of fucking denim could lift the weight of half a person. Listen, it's killed two people already. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, don't underestimate the power of denim. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was so naive of me. Especially this kind of denim that's all, you know, eco-friendly and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's got like the best stitching and it's made yeah. from special material and see. I don't know. Can't fuck with it. <laughs> no. Nope. So poor Libby, this is her first day at work, so she goes to get Craig and Craig's like, "Oh, well, she must have done that to herself." <laughs> cut herself in half she must have done that to herself and stuffed herself under the sink yeah what a fucking idiot Craig loves his job and doesn't want this to go wrong this is a big thing for the store so he's a bit in denial because Libby's like we should call the police there might be a murderer and he's like nah she did this like don't there's not a murderer (laughs) don't worry about it and he's like you can't call the police technically we're locked in so there's no signal anyway and he's just like oh you're just gonna scare everyone and it's gonna ruin the launch you don't want to do that he gaslights her into not telling anyone so they wrap poor Gemma in a tarp and hide her in with the rubbish and all the mannequins what a prick (laughs) Craig is a definite Craig he's awful so our next employee whose name is Lord he finds the jeans in the box and he's like oh I want to wear a pair of jeans. So he he runs off with the jeans and he kind of gets a little bit hypnotized by looking at them. Like, I'm not saying he was hypnotized, but it feels very much like the jeans are like, you need to put me on kind of thing. And then they've all got, you know, those earpieces so they can all talk to each other throughout the store. And Craig's like, Lord, where are you? So then he gets distracted, but then he's a little bit hypnotized again. And he's like, fuck it, I'm going to put them on. And he unzips the zipper. And as he's holding the jeans up, the zip closes and zips off his finger. (laughs) It cuts off his thumb. Then the jeans attack him and eat off one of his hands. So we've got blood and stumps and screaming. And then (laughs) then it eats his other hand. And then the jeans... So, like, the waist part of the jeans is now the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it attacks him and eats his throat and it kills Lord. I I don't often <laughs> say this, but I miss Dan because I know he would be going absolutely batshit you right now. <laughs> he would. I kind of wanted to save it for him, but I didn't really know what else to watch this week because so many people recommended it. He'd be going, oh, Penny, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be a lot of huffing and puffing going on. There would be. See, this doesn't surprise me from Penny. No, this is why everyone sent it to me. (laughs) It doesn't surprise me either anymore. That's the worst part. Yeah. (laughs) This is just like, and? (laughs) Yeah. Tell me more. Nobody's surprised. (laughs) Tell me more. (laughs) So then you get a nice little shot. The jeans are like a little animal. It's like sucking up the blood from the floor. Like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like a wildebeest at a, <laughs> a, at a yeah exactly you tried your hardest to be poetic there and you fucked it didn't you? i did and i yeah. fucked it <laughs> wildebeest at the thing at the place at the you know. yeah at a water fountain sure doing that stuff <laughs> <laughs> like a wildebeest at a drinks machine <laughs> and the back pockets look a bit like eyes as well <laughs> It's quite well done how they kind of... So you know how we talked about how they made Killer Sofa look a bit like a face? They did quite a good job with the jeans looking like... What's the word? Anthropomorphizing it? Yes. Thanks. So Craig is now looking for everyone. Well, not Gemma, because he knows where Gemma is. So he's looking for Lord. So where Lord was is just a box, like Seven style. There's just a cardboard box, like, sat in the middle (laughs) of the warehouse. And he opens it up. Lord is just there in pieces. It's like a head and an arm. And Libby catches him and sees it. And again, she's like, I want to call the cops because this is not good. So Craig knocks her out with a mannequin leg. (laughs) <laughs> Why? Because she wants to call the police and she's going to ruin his uh, his yeah. store thingy. But side note, these jeans are very tidy. Yes, they you are. Know? They are. We'll come to that. Oh, okay. So it like there's a lot of blood when this happens, but then like you'll see like CCTV will come back to it and nothing's there and the bodies aren't there. And... Yeah. So then it's one minute past 12. So the influencer turns up whose name is Peyton Jules. And she is, <laughs> of course as is. annoying <laughs> as you would think she was. So she turns up and she's like, She's pissed off because they can't do a live stream. So she's just got a camera woman doing it. And Craig goes to get her the jeans. And she's got three pairs of jeans hung up behind her on like clippy hangers. The camera person is filming her. And she starts doing her video in front of the jeans. So the waistband is clipped into the coat hanger. 
Yeah. So the legs lift themselves up, come up behind her, wrap around her neck and strangle her and then like hang her and then break her neck in front of everyone. They give no shits now that anyone can can see what's going on. And the camera lady does what? Watches in horror. And then the jeans like full up now. It's had its four meals. Yeah. So then it, this is where it gets, this is where it gets silly. It gets sillier because the <laughs> jeans, they get off the hanger and they jump up on the counter. So before the jeans were like crawling on the floor and stuff, but now they've had enough to drink. They can fully stand up and they look fucking stupid. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, they didn't look stupid before eating people. No, but they looked like cute, stupid. But now okay. they can stand up. They look weird. <laughs> Andy's trying to figure it out. I'm doing some quick maths here. Yeah. That's the fourth person that's died, right? Yep. Yeah. But it was a different pair of jeans? Nope. It's the same pair of jeans so far. You're on to something. I thought there were three jeans behind her. It was just one pair of jeans that attacked her. Oh, okay, fine. Right, but yeah. we will come to that. Because this film has a bit of a twist. Which I was not expecting. Anyway. What do you call two like pairs of jeans? Is that a pair of pair of jeans? Two pairs it's of jeans. Still a pair. Two pairs of jeans. Oh, three yeah. pairs of jeans. I wish it was a pair of pair of jeans. But then what if it was three? Would it be a two pairs of pairs of jeans? It's a pair and an extra one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Have you ever worked in a clothing shop, just for reference? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the jeans are going nuts now, killing everybody. Craig runs off with... I don't know who she was. Her name was Bob. I think she was like the regional manager or like the big boss's assistant or someone, but she's just some bitchy woman. And he runs into her and, and she's in his office and he runs in to lock himself in the office and she doesn't know what's going on. And he's like, you can't go out there. You can't go out there. And then she just starts being a dick to him. She's like, do you think you'll ever be good enough to be regional manager? Like you <laughs> suck. Me, 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 me. And she's awful to him. So he just lets her leave because he can see the jeans on the CCTV camera, but he's like, fuck you, bitch. Let's her leave so she can get eaten, which she does. <laughs> she gets eaten off screen. <laughs> and then we get a really nice shot, a POV of the jeans. Oh. <laughs> so there's a there's a pair of jeans. Well, it's the pair of jeans as we think at the moment. The pair of jeans is now crawling. I don't know why it's crawling along the floor again, but it's crawling along the floor and it's sneaking up on Shruti. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. She is a Hindu girl, but Shruti and she is listening to her music while she's doing stuff and she's listening to Bollywood music mm -hmm. and she's singing along and the jeans start dancing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. this oh, is me dear. checking out. I'm checking out of this. Yeah, I think he'll be back in. I don't know. Because <laughs> I have written the jeans are fucking dancing. I'm out. This is too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, it's very odd because it is like a, a pair of jeans standing up, dancing around to Bollywood music and it just leaves Shruti alone. And then you get Libby wakes up from being hit on the head with a mannequin leg and nobody's around. There's no blood. She finds the camera from the influencer and watches all the death. And she shows it to Shruti in the break room and is like, this is what's happening. Because I don't know how big this story is, but apparently big enough that you can be in one place and not realize that everyone's getting murdered. So they're suddenly like, shit, the influencer had like an hour window. So they run to the door, but they're too late. The lockdown gets reactivated. The shutter shut. They are stuck inside. <laughs> Surely all the jeans have escaped. Nope, not yet. How? If the shutter's open, how have they not got out? But it's only one pair at the minute and it was too busy killing people. Right, right. So they then talk over the earpieces that they have and they find out that Craig's in his office and they go into that and they're talking about it and they're like, something weird is going on and Libby shows Shruti the video of her because she was like, oh, you can't go out there, you'll die. And she, Libby's like, you were out there and you didn't die. And she shows her the footage of the jeans dancing behind her. <laughs> and she and she had no idea. <sighs> so they realise that the jeans like Bollywood music. So they take Shruti's phone and they play it over the intercom system. And the jeans, they can see the jeans on the CCTV footage. <laughs> but the jeans have now acquired the top part of a mannequin. And the top part of the mannequin is in the jeans. <laughs> So it looks like there's a person dancing around now, which also looks really stupid. <laughs> so there's this half mannequin, half possessed jeans dancing to Bollywood music down this corridor. And then they realize that the mannequin has got a bindi on its forehead that it's made out of blood. And she's like, Shruti, can you speak? Jean? <laughs> she's like, well, if it likes Bollywood music, can you speak? Hindu. any of these like asian languages and she's like well i can speak a bit of hindi and a bit of urdu so they start talking to the jeans in hindi and they ask what the jeans want and the mannequin is holding a severed hand and it uses blood to write the name of 
uh, Hindi girl on the wall and her name is Kerat. And this is where I'm like, I don't know where this film is going. <laughs> and his head is in his hands. See, I was not I was not expecting a twist. I was just expecting evil genes that kill people. But apparently this film also has a social commentary, which I did not realise. <laughs> this is going to be some girl who's died in the cotton fields, right? Yes, that is exactly it. Yeah. So they want to find out who this girl is. They say to Craig, like, well, go through the employee records. Who is she? And he's like, we don't have employee records for over there. So all the truth about sweatshops and all this thing comes out and how they're actually not a good company. And they ask Kerat what happened. And there's a flashback to the girl picking the cotton. As she's picking the cotton, her... I don't know much about ethnic dress, but her part of her outfit gets caught in the thing that smushes up the cotton. Sorry. Cuts up the cotton. Her sorry. Thank you. There we go. That gets caught. The in mill. The... You're thinking about a mill, right? The cotton mill? The combine harvester. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> so her sorry gets caught in that as she's putting the cotton in it. And then she gets mulched up uh, okay. with all the cotton. Libby asks her how old she was when she died and she says she was 13. So not only do they have sweatshops, it's all child labor and stuff like that. So Kerat is pissed, which is why she is killing a whole bunch of douchey people. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can empathize. You know, I mean, I, yeah. I feel the same. Like she says she wants justice. I'm like, I don't blame you. So then Libby and Shruti talk to Kerat, but Craig's like, fuck this, and attacks the mannequin with a fire extinguisher. Right. Spraying it <laughs> at her and it runs away. And then someone asks the smart question of how many pairs of jeans are there in the stockroom? There are 175 pairs and they don't know how many of them are alive. Dun, dun, dun. Because I assume if they're made with the cotton that Kerat was killed with. <laughs> so they've run in- This is my favourite bit. They ran into the stockroom and it's all dark and they turn on a light and there's a bunch of jeans and they hiss. Like, you know, when animals and you turn on a light. And it's basically yeah. what they've been doing with the... They've been piling up all the bodies and the genes have been feeding on the blood of the bodies to get stronger. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Craig locks them in because he wants the camera because he because there's no bodies or anything, really. He's like, you're going to ruin everything. He loves this company so much. He doesn't want all this shit to get out. But what's he going to do? He can't sell the jeans <laughs> because they're possessed. So he can't do anything with them. No. He might he's, as well just cut his losses. He's just... He's a bellend. Obsessed with his job. He is a bellend, to be fair. They're like, well, you can have the camera. You have to come get it. So he follows them into the stockroom. Shruti's like... Here it is, chucks the camera, and Craig stabs her because he's a bellend. Why? I don't know what his fucking motive is. He just seems like an absolute prick. Well, now he can't have them tell everyone that they're a shitty company. His one goal is to, I have to protect the company and my shop and my job and whatever. But Shruti is smart, and she took out the SD card. Mm. (laughs) And then, so the genes that were feasting on the bodies, they've obviously had enough blood, and they start to come out of the stockroom, stood up. They look a bit like, you know, Jason and the Argonauts, the Harryhausen right, movie. Harryhausen, they just, yeah. just <laughs> kind looks of... Looks like the skeletons. A little bit. Like, I don't know whether they were puppets as well. <laughs> well, the skeletons were stop motion, weren't they? Yeah. So it might have been all stop motion. Yeah, rather than CGI. But that's <laughs> that looked kind of silly, like eight pairs of jeans, like, <laughs> like plodding towards him. Craig finds Libby and he strangles her because he's a dick. And all the jeans attack him and eat him, like swarm him like zombies. And when they move away, he's just like a flayed corpse, which is kind of fun. (laughs) (laughs) It's quite hard to strangle someone. And I don't think Craig's really that strong. So Libby is actually alive. She's just been a bit strangled and she's playing dead so that the jeans go past her. And when they've gone, she runs to the front of the store and you can hear people outside now. So like, okay, it's daytime now. And she tries to talk to Kira. The jeans know that the store is opening soon. So they've all displayed themselves around the store. (laughs) Like they all just stood up on their own. (coughs) So you walk in, you're like, oh, I can't see anything here. And she's like, this is not justice. These people didn't do anything. Please, 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 please. The lockdown is deactivated and the shutters come up. So Libby runs towards the doors to try and stop people getting in. But you know what people are like with shopping it's a bit black friday yeah. they yeah. the doors fling open they kind of trample her she hits her head on the floor and starts bleeding then we get flashbacks of kira when she was live and shots of libby and then all of a sudden you can hear people screaming and then there's blood and because the genes are killing everybody <laughs> and the last shot is the store is covered in blood and libby dies holding the sd card and that is the end <laughs> like the genes are going to get out and they're going to you know kill everyone 175 pairs of evil genes it's a bit um the original ending of little shop of horrors to me mm. i don't 
feel like that's proper justice. That's what Libby said to her. She was like, this isn't justice. If you let us bring down the company and like tell people what happened to you and maybe stop it happening from anyone else. But she's like, no, I'm just going to murder you. (laughs) I mean, I guess it will bring down the company because people will be like, oh, I've seen that place, that fucking CCC with a murderous gene. What a bunch (laughs) of bricks. Yeah. But also, it's fucking (laughs) horseshit. I don't think you've brought a film that's annoyed me this much for a while. (laughs) I mean... I don't know how I feel about it because I was not expecting the social commentary element of it when it started. I knew they were possessed. I guess I didn't really think about how they would be possessed. You know, I've watched Killer Sofa. I've watched A Killer Carousel Unicorn. I've watched anything else that's been possessed. Not yet. Not yet. That's a waste of time. There's a llama, I'm sure, coming up. (laughs) Oh, I think there is a movie called Llamageddon. Yeah. Llamageddon. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so it's available on Shudder. We have just gone through it all, so I have spoiled it. Sorry, but it was kind of fun. The gore got better. I'm not going to say don't watch it. I mean, I feel like we don't have to watch it now. Well, you don't have to, but that's what I do. But I was like, if you're going to watch these, (laughs) this is probably the more, I don't want to say mainstream, but the more mainstream, less silly. Karis Hell is probably the next one down and then Killer Sofa, if we're going with films like this that I've watched. Karis Hell was more fun. I mean, it certainly sounds the most accessible and I think it was quite short. I think it was about 77 minutes or something. Huh. But yeah, that's what I did today. So thank you to everyone that sent it to me. I can only remember three people that did. But <laughs> Do you want to give them shout outs? Uh, my friend Del sent it to me, friend of the podcast Chris, and my friend Elle sent it to me. And I think a couple of people tagged me in it on Facebook. <laughs> so yeah, tag me in stupid shit and I'll watch it apparently. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Never let it say that you are not predictable. No. Crack your tongue. Crack your tongue. Come in, Gemma. Gemma, Craig. Are you wearing what I think you're wearing? Gemma, where the... Where are you going? Unless you want me to bleed all over the floor, I've got to go find my floor right now. Is that okay? I register your feminine issues and I respect them. Just make sure you're back on the floor in time for Harold's presentation. All hands on deck, okay? Uh, what's that? I can hear you. Shh. All right, well, I've brought another game Yay! to tide us over. I'm going to put you uh, you two best buds up against each other. Oh, man. And see who wins in okay. a game that I like to call... I haven't got a title for this, so let's just call it Something About a Tag. What a title. Something About a Tag. Something About a Tag. Okay, shit, I'm not very good at games. No, me neither. So here's what we'll do. I will give you a film, and then I will give you two taglines... One is legit, and one I have made up okay. in a very Ooh. cliched way. I can tell you're the writer. I get all my games off the internet. You haven't heard the tagline yet, so they might be dreadful. True. Are we taking this in turns, or are we shouting? Uh, you can't really shout, because, I mean, I could just give you the tagline, and you can shout the film if you want, but that's not going to... Oh, God. You won't get okay. most of these. I'll give you both the taglines. You can take it in turns to answer first, and you can either stick with the same one, or you can twist to the other one. Mm. How does that sound? Yep. Sure. Cool. I'm sure this will sound much more interesting in post. <laughs> we'll put some funky yeah. music underneath it. It'll all be edited fine. We're going to put the Macarena underneath it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so the first film, we'll start off with a nice, easy one for you. The first film is Jaws the Revenge from 1987. So, what's the tagline? This time it's personal, or it still isn't safe to go in the water. I think I know which one it is. Do you want to start us off? I believe it is. Well, wait, if I say it, Emma could steal it. Or are we just getting a point if we both get it right? I might go for the other one. You never know. She can't steal it. Because she, she, she either thinks it's the same answer or... Yeah. There's two options here. It's not a particularly well thought out game. I ran out of it's, time, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's, it's either fine. it's either we agree that it's the same thing and we both get a point. But what if I go, I know what it is, and you didn't know what it was? Well, you shouldn't have fucking said it. I could do the same thing. Yeah, That's mind true. games. Um, it's the second one. It's still not safe to go in the water. Yeah, I think I the same. Yeah. Uh, it's still not safe to go in the water is incorrect. I made that <gasps> one up. Oh, man. Okay. Really? I was yep. positive. This time nope. it's personal. Uh, I'm like, you're a fucking for shark. Jaws. For Jaws the Revenge. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that one. So. What was it called in French from last week? I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Mm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? 
dreadful. So okay. you'll probably forgive me. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? It seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already, is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what An option. <laughs> option two. You've got take the stairs, take the stairs. For God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis. If I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The options um, are what goes up must go down and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with the stairs. The stairs one. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week. I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you'll probably forgive me. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 oh. is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already, is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what you option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down and take the stairs take the stairs for god's sake take the stairs i want it to be that one yeah me too but i'm not sure if it is yeah uh, i feel like it's too good yeah <laughs> <laughs> what do you think and now i'm like is it a weird german translation so it, it, yeah. does that make sense in german yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. gonna go with the stairs the stairs yeah one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week. I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. No, oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you'll probably forgive me. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 oh. is the tagline, Family Matters, or 
he puts the teeth in terror. I'm going to say family matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is he puts the teeth in terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yeah. bombs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've had the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what you and said. Option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down and take the stairs take the stairs for god's sake take the stairs i want it to be that one yeah me too but i'm not sure if it is yeah i feel like it's too good yeah <laughs> <laughs> what do you think and now i'm like is it a weird german translation so it, it, yeah. does that make sense in german yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. gonna go with the stairs the stairs yeah one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is he puts the teeth in terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yeah. bombs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what you and option. Said. <laughs> <laughs> Option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? 
Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Mm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The th- yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. Mm. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so, the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh, God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh, is the tagline family matters or he puts the teeth in terror i'm gonna say family matters yeah me too that sounds too obvious now though but yeah that one it is he puts the teeth in terror i assume it's a reference to the chainsaw here's what i'm learning from this already is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what you and said. Option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. Yeah, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. <laughs> it's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs. For God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So does that make sense in German? I'm going to go with the stairs. The stairs one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, no. all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, family matters or he puts the teeth in terror? I'm going to say family matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now though, but yeah, that one. It is he puts the teeth in terror. What? I assume it's a reference oh, to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. (laughs) It's a German (laughs) film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um... Oh, 
So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. One. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay. Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so, the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh, is the tagline family matters or he puts the teeth in terror i'm gonna say family matters yeah me too that sounds too obvious now though but yeah that one it is he puts the teeth in terror what? Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw here's what i'm learning from this already is that i should be writing fucking movie tag yes. ones. <laughs> Okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what she and option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs. For God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs yeah. Yeah, it should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, no. all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, family matters or he puts the teeth in terror. I'm going to say family matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now though, but yeah, that one. It is he puts the teeth in terror. Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yes. <laughs> Okay, right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. It's 
Yeah, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is, he puts the teeth in terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film, The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you and said. option <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um so what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 oh. is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It 
It is, he puts the teeth in terror. What I assume it's a oh reference God. to the chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film, The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um so what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. One. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, oh alright. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you are probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Wheelhouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is, he puts the teeth in terror. What? I assume it's a reference oh, to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film, The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um so what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? 
Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Mm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. Mm. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and you option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something Teeth of the Sea. The Teeth of the Sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Mm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 oh. is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you and said. option, <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. 
Die Hauptstadt. Ja. So what goes up must go down. And take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The th yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and said. option <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down, and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. No, oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and option, 
<laughs> Option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down, and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. What? I assume it's a oh, reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and said. option <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down, and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. 
is the tagline family matters or he puts the teeth in terror i'm gonna say family matters yeah me too that sounds too obvious now though but yeah that one It is he puts the teeth in terror. What? It seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down and take the stairs take the stairs for god's sake take the stairs i want it to be that one yeah me too but i'm not sure if it is yeah uh, i feel like it's too good yeah <laughs> <laughs> what do you think and now i'm like is it a weird german translation so it, it, yeah. does that make sense in german yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. gonna go with the stairs the stairs yeah one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you'll probably forgive me. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is he puts the teeth in terror. What? Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tag yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and said. option <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um. So what goes up must go down and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah.
there. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The th- yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. Mm. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. Uh, It seems a reference to the chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. I should be writing fucking movie tech ones. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, right, come on, next. Okay, so the next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. (laughs) <laughs> That's what she and option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing, deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um- So what goes up must go down and take the stairs take the stairs for god's sake take the stairs i want it to be that one yeah me too but i'm not sure if it is yeah i feel like it's too good yeah <laughs> <laughs> what do you think and now i'm like is it a weird german translation so it, it, yeah. does that make sense in german yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. gonna go with the stairs the stairs yeah one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Oh, no. all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Warehouse. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is He Puts the Teeth in Terror. Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got What Goes Up Must Go Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she and option, said. <laughs> option two, you've got take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. 
To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um, So what goes up must go down and take the stairs take the stairs for god's sake take the stairs i want it to be that one yeah me too but i'm not sure if it is yeah uh, i feel like it's too good yeah <laughs> <laughs> what do you think and now i'm like is it a weird german translation so it, it, yeah. does that make sense in german yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. gonna go with the stairs the stairs yeah one. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah, that one. It is, he puts the teeth in terror. What? Uh, it seems oh, a reference to the God. chainsaw. Here's what I'm learning from this already. Is that I should be writing fucking movie tech yes. ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, come on, next. Okay, so come the on. next film we've got is 1983's film, The Lift. I can give you a brief synopsis of this after we've heard the options. Option one, you've got what goes up must go down. <laughs> That's what An option. <laughs> option two. You've got take the stairs, take the stairs for God's sake, take the stairs. See, I love that one, but now I'm thinking that sounds like a bit of Andy Joyce. Let me give you the synopsis, if I can find it. No doubt the lift kills people. To be fair, you could have written either of those. A lift technician finds himself drawn into a web of mystery and peril as he investigates the perplexing deadly accidents occurring in the elevators of a new office building. It's a German <laughs> film, if that's any help. Now I want to see a killer lift movie. The option. Um So what goes up must go down and take the stairs, take the stairs, for God's sake, take the stairs. I want it to be that one. Yeah, me too. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And now I'm like, is it a weird German translation? So it, it, yeah. does that make sense in German? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. It should be the stairs one. It is the stairs. Yay! Yes. Good. And what is it in German? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm not translating. From last week, I know that was my game. The Something teeth of the sea. The teeth of the sea. <laughs> so, nil point. Hmm. Oh, all right. My husband won't be very impressed with me because Jaws is his favourite film. Yeah, the first Jaws is fine. The, yeah. This is what, the third or the second one? Dreadful. So, okay. you're probably forgiven. Uh, so the next one we've got from 1990. This is in Penny's Woe House. Oh God, don't say that. I'll get it wrong. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Oh. Is the tagline, Family Matters, or He Puts the Teeth in Terror. I'm going to say Family Matters. Yeah, me too. That sounds too obvious now, though, but yeah. That 